So, we did um, Linux on NTFS, but can you do Windows on XE4? Now, we know you can't boot from it, but can you move all the files over? Well, how many files can you actually move over to XE4 before it breaks? Should we give it a go and find out? So as you can see here, we've got a, a 25 gig partition using XC4 right there. Everything's ready to go. Let's start with something basic and move the page file. Okay, so it's been a while since I've used Windows. You'll have to uh, forgive me. It's control panel, performance and maintenance. System, advanced, I think it's this one, here we go, change, we'll move that to E, and we'll set that, and remove this one, no page and file, there we go. I we'll click OK. It doesn't look like that moved. Let's try a restart and see what happens. No page file there. No page file. Set. Let's do a custom size then. Let's do... Um, Two, four, and we'll go up to four gig, nine, six, set. Oh, there we go. Yes, there we go. Yes, I know there's no any virus. It's not on the network. Don't worry. My computer. you do hidden folders again the file options view show hidden files okay <laughs> so one for system files as well Show hidden files. Uh, I think that's there. I mean, I've used space, so. Yeah, it's definitely on the E drive. Okay. Looks good. Right. What can we move next? Can we move my user? Ah. Right, I need to go to control panel again. Computer management, which will be administrative tools. Computer management, disk management. Uh, 
No, I don't want to do that. I want to actually move where it saves it to. Okay, so apparently you can do it this way. Uh, my computer. Properties. There you go. Copy on that, and then we go E. Right, let's control C that. And that's that all transferred over there. What else can we do though? We've got music, we've got pictures on there. We can make the temp drive go on there, can't we? What we found earlier on. So let's go back here. We'll call this temp. Well, I think that's pretty much it for that. Let's try a reboot. Well, seems to not be too bad of all that. I wonder though, would it be funny to try and move the entire Windows installation over to our E drive, see what happens. Let's try that. Sure. Because, um, yeah, this was fun and all, but all we've done is changed a few system files. We didn't really give it much of a challenge, did we? What would happen if we did this? Right, mount slash dev is the A1 slash mount gen 2 and let's make the slash mount and then we'll mount a slash dev is the A2 to slash mount XE We'll copy RV slash mount gen to Windows to here. Okay, that's all the windows copied over. Let's see the U uh, mount next. U mount gen to and let's see what happens when we Reboot now. Well, obviously it's going to work now, but... Okay, there's our Windows. We've got our Windows file there. Everything's saved. Well, let's see what happens when we do... There is System... Advanced... Environmental. Let's do E slash Windows. Okay. What happens if we restart now? It's going further than a fall. Go. Also, the final check.
Oh, oh, it crashed. Oh, 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 I'm back in, I'm back in. That can't be right. It can't be. I can't be actually using it. Cool. Everything's going weird. It still kept it to there, but I don't think it's loading from there. I think it's just going to use that as the Windows directory for anything that I do moving forward. But hey, it did go funny for a second. I don't really know what else you can do to check. Like it deletes everything that you've done before. But yes, I think that's as far as you're going to go. Um, Windows on XM4. Don't really think it's possible. Can you make it do some weird stuff with it though? Yeah, yeah you can. Um, have anyone got any ideas of what I can do to make this uh, as a more... Well, if anyone's got any more ideas of what I could do to prove that any of this has changed and give me some ideas, I'm way out of the loop of Windows, so I have much more of a clue than what I've just done. But, that actually seemed quite successful. I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Keep compiling, everyone.